John Oliver. John, come on. It is a pleasure to be here. Uh, nice to meet you. Tell us a little bit about yourself. You've been in this country about seven years. I have. On the, yeah. da the Daily Show. That yeah. you what com you're coming off a bit like an immigration officer at this uh, point. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, uh, tell us about your life when you were living in England. Well, it was, uh, you know, it was a life of, uh, of pickpocketing and dancing and breaking into song, just like that's how we're all raised. <laughs> not a bad way to go. It's not a bad way to live. Yeah. You know, travel by umbrella. Uh -huh. No, uh... <laughs> I think I'll take uh, see, half your audience believes that's possible because I believe, I believe they still have possible. magic in their hearts. Yeah. And good Please them. say they do it. Yeah. Please say they do it. Did you uh, do stand-up comedy in uh, England? I did do stand-up comedy mm -hmm. in England, yes, which is, you know, it's, a, it's an emotional battle. Re really? In what sense? Well, because, you know, British audiences tend to see it not as a monologue, as more of a discussion <laughs> of your relative funniness joke to joke <laughs> and they've had a lot of alcohol so audiences here are much more polite you wouldn't think that no but, so yeah so everything you say on stage is then evaluated by the it's audience a, yeah it's a yeah. discussion that they're having with you <laughs> as to whether this is a good joke whether this has been a good career choice for you right no. so so heckling heckling is just the start of it heckling and that can easily become just an outright character assassination <laughs> Well, it sounds kind of grueling. Oh, we are, we are charming people. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but you're a, uh, an American citizen now. I'm not an American citizen. You really are coming across. I'm sorry. Yeah. Nothing to be uncomfortable about here. That's not my job. Uh, yeah, uh, no, I'm a, I'm a legal permanent resident. I've got a green card, mm. which I got without having to marry Gerard Depardieu. That's, I think that's but there was a discussion that you... That was, yeah. that was the back way in. No, yeah. but your, your wife is an American citizen. She is. My wife is very American. Mm -hmm. she was, uh, she How did was, you meet? Well, she was in the army. She was, uh, she's a combat medic from Ara uh, in Iraq. And uh, so, thank you. Yeah. I mean, that's a whole other discussion. How, how, what branch of the service was she in? Uh, she was in the army. She was with First Cav, so I you know, wear this for First Cav. Very nice. And, and how, how many tours did she have? She, she, did, she did one tour. She was there, I think, 03 to 05. And I'm happy to take all the adulation that yes. she's got. No, I'll just take it. I'll take it. That's, that's really why I married her. I wanted to marry someone who'd done something valuable with their life. Yeah. Uh, did, did you meet her in, in Iraq? No, I think that's right. Yeah, I was doing gigs in Iraq. It was the, <laughs> <laughs> it was the only place more hostile than Britain. Uh, no, actually, I actually met her. I was working for The Daily Show, and uh, she was with veterans who were at both conventions in 2008. Uh, and so I met her at the RNC. I was being chased by security. Because mm. uh, we were filming somewhere we weren't supposed to be filming, and that's always the place that you want to be. And so I was, I was on a visa back then, so I was, you know, running away from security because you can't get arrested. And she saved me in the most emasculating rescue of my life. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was awfully nice of her. It was, it was, yeah, I'm incredibly proud of her and, yeah. yeah. She's, she's now, really... now uh, but, and forgive me because this doesn't sound like a, a fair thing to say. <laughs> oh, I'm looking forward to this. Um, <laughs> and maybe I shouldn't even say it, but, uh, you Definitely. know, there's, there's, it, when you have a team... Yeah. There'll be a team leader. Now, in, in the household there, who is the team leader? Oh, who do you think? <laughs> <laughs> how, how, how do you think... How, how do you think it goes down when I come back from my day writing for a comedy show, saying, oh, it was so hard writing jokes? Mm. You can see her eyes roll back into her head yeah. and just shut up. Uh -huh. <laughs> When you've been in a war, you have no time for the insecurities of mid-range comedians. <laughs> well, all right, that's, uh, that's enough of that thing. Yeah. Now, uh, congratulations on, on the job. Thanks you're, very you're, much. You're taking over for John while he's off. I am, for, temporarily. He's doing a, a film. He's, yeah, he's, he's directing a movie, mm -hmm. and so I'm going to be uh, taking over just for the summer. I know there's understandably nervousness. It, it's America. daunting a bit, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, definitely. You know, it's an American institution, and I just have to try not to destroy it. I, 
I think you'd be just fine, don't well, you? Well, that's... You know, I appreciate that, but that's not based in anything other than you being a nice human being. <laughs> uh, but you know the show? I do know the show. And, I, and you know what's expected of you? I do. I, you know, so I've been there seven years, mm. so, you know, I, I do know structurally how to make the show and how to present it. What I haven't done before is interviewed actors. So my training in interviews is to make fun of people. Mm. So I don't know how to talk to an actor whose movie I've not seen, and I was wondering if you had any tips on that. Oh, well, uh, uh, first of all, uh, excellent opportunity to catch up on a little sleep. <laughs> um, that's good to know. Yeah, that's good that's, to know. So it's, it's not all bad. Yeah, that's good. Uh, and uh, just, uh, just uh, wow, I'm really looking forward to this. <laughs> really? Yeah. That's good. Oh, then you're making a positive of the fact you haven't seen it. Right. Well, it's it's n n nebulous enough that it could be misconstrued. I, I'm, uh, I'm going to... Uh, or, uh, yeah. oh, and, uh, well, here's another good one. Where did you film that? Oh. <laughs> Th those are going to be my two tells. Yeah. And... And, and if you're lucky, it's a part of the world that you've actually been, so then you can talk about, oh, that's great, Belgium's beautiful. Yeah, no, <laughs> you're, you're off and running. I, I hope it's not Belgium, because there's no way that's true. <laughs> I hope I don't get a Belgian-based movie first. Tell me about the chocolate. Potatoes, it's and good potato country. That's right, Jean-Claude Van Damme, and I'm out. Are we done, or do we no, need to stretch that? I, I think you'll be just fine. Yeah. Uh, anything else you need to tell us before uh, we let you go here? <laughs> Very good American. That, that is the best piece of advice for an interview. Anything else you need to say before we never see each other again? Because, well, this is it. This is the only time we'll have any interaction. Please, please feel free to say something and leave. So Monday night... Monday night, it all begins Monday night, 11 o'clock, over there on Comedy Central. John, great pleasure it's meeting you. It's a pleasure. Good luck to you. Thank you very much.